This video is brought to you by Squarespace. The latest Nokia Purity device versus the very first one, only about a decade apart. This one should be pretty interesting. I know some of you guys might think this one should be pretty easy, and you might be right, but I was still pretty curious about this. And sure, software has made tremendous strides in improving smartphone photography, especially when it comes to how easy it is to capture great images these days. But on the hardware front, I'm not so convinced. Just take a look at the technical capabilities of Nokia's very first PureView device, the 808 PureView. And this phone for its time was a revelation. It was the first phone camera to be compared to professional cameras without it being a funny experiment. And the numbers speak for themselves. A 41 megapixel sensor with Zeiss optics and an aperture ratio of f2.4. And not just that, the 808's camera sensor is still considered massive even by today's best standards. It uses a 1 over 1.12 inch sensor, which was about three times as large as the biggest thing competitors offered back in 2012. And not only are the numbers still impressive, but so are the features. As an example, the 808 PureView has a neutral density filter in order to combat harsh lighting conditions. It also features Xenon Flash, which is a far superior flash option compared to LEDs that we have on modern smartphones when it comes to range and speed. And add to that a dedicated image signaling processor, because no CPU back then could support such a large number of megapixels. And then there was the software magic going on. So the 808 was the first camera phone to utilize pixel oversampling by combining up to 7 pixels into one for its 5 megapixel images. And this was done to try and eliminate noise and capture better details. It also utilizes the large sensor in order to provide you with lossless zoom. You know, since it could just crop from the center of the massive sensor without significant loss of quality. And even in the video department, this was the first phone to be equipped with high quality audio mics. Nokia called it rich recording and it enabled the device to capture audio levels that other smartphones for its time could only dream of. So no matter how loud the environment you're in, you will still be able to capture crystal clear audio using this phone. Anyway, the latest Nokia Pure Review device definitely isn't on the same level as its predecessor when it comes to revolutionizing the smartphone camera industry. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't have a couple of cool tricks up its sleeve, especially considering that this is a mid-range device. So the X30 comes with a fairly large 1 over 1.56 inch sensor with an aperture ratio of f1.88. It also has optical image stabilization, which the Nokia to 8 PureView lacks. And while it doesn't have Zeiss optics, it uses Gorilla Glass DX Plus for its camera glass, which is set to help capture up to 98% of the light in the scene. And other than that, the X30 also has an ultra wide camera, which is a 13 megapixel sensor. And it uses something called Capture Fusion in order to combine between the details of the main camera and the ultra wide camera when it comes to the details in the center of the image which is a pretty cool trick. Despite all of that, the main strength that the X30 offers is its much more advanced software. Yeah, a decade of software development definitely helps. So how do these two devices compare? Before that, here's a word from today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Let's face it, we all thought at least once about starting our own website online. Whether it's to showcase our passions to the world or to build an online business. And Squarespace makes this very simple. With Squarespace, you can build your own website with ease thanks to their excellent custom templates. It's taken me less than an hour to build a site from scratch into something that I'm fairly proud of. I also love how easy it is to build an online store, whether you're planning on selling a physical or a digital good or creating something unique for your community. And once you're ready to go live, Squarespace also provides the perfect analytic tools in order to understand exactly who your target audience is. Anyway, I'm barely scratching the surface here. I would highly recommend going to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. See if you like it, and I'm sure you will, and you can also go to squarespace.com slash Mr. Nokia to get 10% off your first purchase. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video.
Let's get the obvious stuff out of the way. Yes, at a glance, the X30's images look far superior. And no, it has nothing to do with quality, noise, or colors. It's because the 808 has no HDR capabilities, so the X30 can naturally capture better details in the highlights and the lowlights of the image, giving you the full spectrum of the colors available. The 808, on the other hand, needs to choose between the highlights and the lowlights of an image. And so if all you care about is capturing images that are social media ready, then the X30 wins this one pretty easily. You barely need to do anything to the images and you're ready to go and it's so easy to capture good images with this device the other huge advantage that the x30 offers comes to low light capabilities here software plays a major role and the fact that the x30 comes with optical image stabilization means that it can keep the shutter speed open just for a bit more capturing more light so generally speaking you'll be able to capture more light with this in situations where the 808 pure view will barely be able to see anything and there are also a couple of things that the 808 pure view simply can't do as an example you don't get the option to slow down or speed up the shutter speed on the 808 and there's also no raw image support but when you don't need to rely on HDR or low light capabilities it's still pretty impressive what you can achieve with this phone even today and I mean like seriously impressive I actually prefer how clean the images of the 808 PureView are the way it preserves details naturally just looks fantastic and the sharpness doesn't look artificially enhanced to give a perception of being able to capture more details the image just simply look very pure in a way that no modern smartphone can imitate today. And then there's the fact that it has Xenon Flash, which is unmatched when it comes to capturing fast moving objects. Something that you'll struggle to do with modern smartphones using LEDs, as they're slower. With the 808, you're freezing the subject in motion. I can only imagine how amazing something like this would be with modern software capabilities. All it really needs is HDR, optical image stabilization, and some basic night mode capabilities. Look, 10 years of development is definitely a long time. And sure, modern smartphones are expected to be much thinner than a brick like the 808 Pure View when it comes to size and thickness. But do you actually feel like we're seeing over a decade of improvement between both of these two devices? And not just the X30, but modern smartphones in general compared to the 808 PureView. Share your thoughts with me in the comments down below. If you want to watch my full review of the Nokia X30, check out the video here, or check out my nostalgia coverage of the Nokia 808 PureView. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.